Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm out with Dad on Pinetier Lagoon in Tassie. It's a really windy day, you'll see that when we pop around the corner and this lake is fantastic because it's so protected. So we're gonna go out this evening at six o'clock, drift some dries around and try and get some fish to come up and eat for you. Um, this lake's really good because it has a big population of small wild and brown rainbow trout. So we should get some to the boat and hopefully pick up a couple of fish around a pound if we're lucky, but it should happen. So. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so it's mid, uh, mid January now. Uh, so a lake like this, you really, I mean, there's just so many different things that fish can eat here. So we've got mayfly, you've got spinners around the edge, you'll have midge, we get some terrestrials like beetles coming in. Uh, then you've got damsel feeders that are crazy on the edge that are painful to catch. So. There's a lot going on, so I wouldn't stress your fly choice much on lakes like this uh, when the fish are quite opportunistic and eat a range of things. So just drifting around, you know, your favorite sort of dries is the key. You can really catch them on anything if you get your drift right or if you're on the bank, if you're in the right spot where there are fish in front of you. So that's the key. Alrighty, I'm ready to go. So I've just got set up a coral and peach floater nylon leader and I've just got three dries oh and dad just missed one there <laughs> so I think I've got sedge hog carrot fly in the middle video hopper on the point If we don't get one to eat soon, I'm just going to push us tight to the bank and we'll fish a bit shallower. Alright, I reckon we're going to change up our drift. They should just come up blind here. Hey. They should come up blind here, it's shallow enough. There's one. Got it. So I kind of jagged your cast then. That's okay. <laughs> but if you're gonna get to them, yeah, quick is the way. Little rainbow. Yeah, the carrot there. All right. Oh, I missed him. Uh, no, you didn't look like you were too slow on him, but it's hard when the, so often it's not like the, so often it's not how slow you are, because if you've got no slack and you're slow, you're still quicker than if you strike quickly with a lot of slack. So it kind of depends what's, you know, happening in front of you. So only the, yeah, it's hard to know when you're not watching the black, uh, black hopper. Black hopper on the boat. And again, yeah, if you're missing them, oh, so I just missed that one. That was a small fish. But if you're missing them, just shorten up and shorten up until you are getting them. Swirly wind's quite annoying. It's actually, yeah, it doesn't look that windy, but because it's sheltered, but it's really windy. Got him there. 
was going to say, if I miss any more, I'm going to have to edit out all the misses. <laughs> Another little rainbow. I mean, they're healthy little fish. Mm. Like, they're really chunky little guys. Yeah. I always carry some of this powder floating yeah. with me. Just because it helps dry your dries so much. I use it all the time on the rivers, and I always used to forget it on the lake, but it's so, it just absorbs that moisture just keeps it riding high which I don't think it matters for the fish but I think it helps us see it and it gives us more confidence because you can see you fly better gosh it's got to get eaten through here Sorry, I've stolen another one of your fish from that side. <laughs> another little chunky rainbow. They go harder, don't they? They're, yeah, they go really well. First one that's eaten a roly poly. Oh, and he's just come off. Finally got one to eat a moved fly. Oh, there he is. Can't eat that. Got him. Imagine being on another lake in this stuff. Yeah, yeah imagine being out in the great place. Yeah, or being on a little pine. It always blows like twice as hard there as it does here. I've made a little fly change because they're eating the carrot so well I've got a claret carrot on the point and I've put a half hog hopper on the top. That's uh, shallow. This bay is like a sandy muddy bay and it has, that was a better fish down there. And it has little, like, isolated weed patches. And then flat stuff again. That's a better one. Oh, <laughs> just missed that one, just changing direction. Now that one just ate my flies there. But there was a nice one over here. Oh, good brown. That was the one. Oh. Rolly Polly Dry has got him. Another little guy. You don't need a cast fire to get them to eat it, so they're likely to fall off halfway back yeah. if you fish too long. It's hard to not let slack when you're uh, going into a roly poly, isn't it? 
Yeah. You almost need to slow down your forward cast through the air. No, there's just no wind at the moment. Roll us around the main. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, finally. As I was just reaching for my coffee too. Should be one of the better pine tier browns. That's a ripping fish. Like a shark coming through here. That is a lovely brown. Not many in here like that. The takes of the big ones are always unmistakable. Yeah. Just that little chunk. That's a really nice fish. Stay there. Get your head up for me. That is a ripping brown trout for Pine Tier Lagoon. That's the nicest fish I've seen. <laughs> That's the biggest one I've ever caught in this lake. Wow. What a beautiful fish. I'll get a photo on my phone. Yeah. What a magical fish he is. Well, I might wrap the video up there. Um, you would have seen the sun's kind of about to dip below the horizon. Um, we'll keep fishing, but you're probably not going to get the best visibility in the rocks when the sun goes behind the clouds. So, thanks for tuning in. You saw it was interesting. A lake, this lake, uh, a lot of small fish. Missed a lot of fish, caught a lot of small ones as well, um, but hit that better random fish, which was really good. So, really good option if you know the top plateau is just blown out because it's so windy you can always get out of the wind here even though it was very windy so thanks for tuning in don't forget to like the video if you liked it subscribe to the channel please if you haven't already and i'll go i'll see you in one of the next ones